Cross-examination. What Scuttlebutt saw. Pretty simple cross-examination. What you want to do is go to the final statement. There's a fancy picture at the statement, so that's how you know this is the statement with the contradiction. If you press the witness here, she will insist that the key thing is the costume. I mean, you didn't see the person who was inside the costume, therefore it could have been anyone. And that's sort of a minor contradiction, but that's not the contradiction we're looking for. The contradiction we're actually looking for is the fact that the costume is on wrong. Just check the design for the costume right here. You'll notice the costume is inside out. Yeah, obviously Juniper wouldn't put her costume on inside out, so it must have been somebody else. Purple hair? Objection. And uh, Blackwell is going to say that we are complete idiots chasing down the wrong tree. Or is that barking up the wrong tree? Chasing down the wrong cat? Milking the wrong cow. Asking the wrong questions. Okay, so the important thing is, why was the costume inside out? It was being painted that very day. No, Your Honor, no.
we have a photo. Inside out costume glowing in the dark. Yeah, hand prints. We definitely have the prints of whoever put on the costume. Objection. Can we fingerprint it? Objection. Alright, whoever touched the costume obviously got the glow-in-the-dark paint on their hands. So we need evidence that somebody had glow-in-the-dark paint. The newspaper extra clearly shows Robin is the one who had glow-in-the-dark hands. So I guess that means Robin stole the costume and then used it to go into the quad. But why? Hmm, yeah, looking like Robin is the culprit. Robin in his little skirt thingy. Why is Robin wearing a skirt with a bow? Huh. Anyway, Robin is here, so let's bring him to the witness stand. No more Miriam, time for the new witness. 